Alrighty, so in this video we're going to be discussing the stepper. Now, now and then I air my personal opinions about what I think about Material UI, and a lot of them are really good, but I think the documentation for the stepper is a complete stinker. Looking at it, it's you have to just decipher kind of what's going on in the code, even though the visuals look, uh, at least for the first example, which I'm going to cover, looks, you know, like simple visually, but then you look at the code and you're like, okay, what does what, what goes where? And I'm just here just to show you like a bare bone, super simple stepper because we could always make them more complex. We could always code to fit our use cases, but looking at documentation, you should be able to, okay, this is the essentials to get up and going and let's work from there. So let's go ahead and do that. I have all my imports at the top here. And we'll just add things as we go, as we typically do as developers. So we're going to add a stepper. And this is how we're going to open it up. So we're going to have a stepper. This is going to be our parent um, component here, like we have many things. And so there's some cool stuff we could add in here. We'll do that towards the end. So let's come in here and let's have a step. And then we're going to have a step. Oh, not that step label here and we'll do first let's go ahead and click save see if anything breaks so we have first all right cool rocking and rolling so let's go ahead and let's just do three and we're gonna copy and paste those here first second and third and we're not going to come back and touch any of these so we can see out of the gate this does this for you so imagine, you know, you put in an order to a pizza place and then first it'll say order received and then it's like, you know, Charles is, if, I don't know anyone named Charles, but Charles is throwing in the pizza and then third, they're on, they're on the way to see you. We could, we could think of an example of a stepper like that or maybe you're filling out a form, something along those lines lets you know your progress of some kind in some neat orderly fashion. So this is cool, but it's not entirely interesting because you could kind of tell this needs to be hooked up to some degree here. And so we're going to come up in here and we're going to have, if I could type, active step. And we're going to come in here and we're going to set this equal to active step. And you guessed it, we're going to have to use use state. So we're going to come up here. Gonna have, oh, yeah, we're going to have active step and then set. And we have this set to zero. Nothing changes, but if we wanted to do one, we could do that. And so what we see here is that when it moves on to one, this gives it a check mark here automatically. Notice it's just first, second, and third here that it's done. Now, I imagine you could go in and fiddle with this a lot more, but this is just a simple bare bones example to get you up and going. So we have this, but that's not entirely interesting. So let's come up here and let's see what we want to do next. So we have the stepper. Let's actually make some buttons down below now. Let's just go uh, next step. Because I'm lazy and don't want to do any CSS styling, I'll just come down here. And what I'm going to do is take this, come down here, We'll do previous step, and let's add some stuff in to make it interesting. Oh, let's do variant. Let's do let's do outlined color. Primary. We'll do it for both. So we have these buttons here. I'm not going to click them because, as you could tell, we don't have an on-click um, like function hooked up to it here. So 
let's actually do this. So I'm going to now drop these down here. And so what I want to do is I want to set off uh, a function and we're going to do, let's call this next step. And I forget what the key is to do multi-align. So it happens when you work on a Mac and then you come to home to a PC. Well, actually I work from home, so whatever. And so let's do this here. And I know we're getting a little, you know, scrolly here, and I like to avoid scrolling where possible to keep uh, the eyes kind of locked in one general area. But I don't like abbreviations. I don't like them using them often, I should say. Okay, so if we save, it's going to nuke it. So let's get around this here. And so when we click next step, we'll work on this one strictly first. What we're going to want to do is basically just advance it to the second and to the third. So let's come up here. We'll do next step. Slap that down here and let's do set active step. Now, if you're like me and you've been using use state, um, you know, why can't I have just done, you know, active step plus one? Because at zero, I could do zero plus one. And if I remember right, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, this will not change uh, at all unless you give it a new kind of value. And so you also may see this, and I kind of want to use this in the tutorial because you may see this in the wild as well. Like I said, you may use set active step but just plus one, and you, you may never even use a syntax like this. And it may be confusing because I have current step, and there's current step here, but I have that declared nowhere else. This could have just as easily be named active step. I can name it roast beef, I can name it beer, I can name it anything I want to. All of this uh, current step is referring to is whatever the use state is currently, whatever it's conveniently named for me. So for in this function here, set active step, basically I'm saying the current step, which is whatever the active step is, plus one. I know that sounds a little bit verbose or whatever, but I feel it was worth just going over and giving some kind of uh, explanation because I haven't used this a whole lot myself. So let's come in here and actually try and comment this line out let's save this and we see all right and we just keep clicking and clicking and clicking and all right fine awesome so let's come down in here and what was oh it's previous step might as well copy and paste that to save any kind of a uh, typos and then we're just going to rip this out here because we're lazy and we'll do minus one awesome so next step all right let's do previous step all right well it's kind of weird uh, maybe you're just like an angry user let's try this oh hey it goes oh that's kind of interesting um, well, that's weird. So let's do the next best thing that we like to do. And that is, let's just give it it's a dumb h3 tag here. And let's just do active step. Oh, so it's at zero. That makes sense because the active step up here is set to zero, right? That is logical. So let's uh, click next, which fires this off. 
so it's 0 plus 1. So now it's going to be 1 plus 1. We click it again. And, huh, okay. Interesting. As we can see, we don't have any more steps in here. When we go to fire off the function, this is just running out of things to attach to. If I wanted to copy and paste indefinitely, I could do that, but that's kind of dumb. Maybe you're going to, I mean, I assume most likely, you're going to have a, a certain amount of steps you're going to want the user to go through. So that will most likely be pre-planned. And, okay, so we have that. And previous step. And we're, we're going negative now. So that is kind of interesting. And there's different ways we can handle this. One way I'm going to show you is, let's just do something just quick and dirty here. Active step is less than two. We could do this. And for this, let's do if active step is not equal to negative one. So we're going to save this. So we, we're starting off here. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. But it locks up, obviously, because of our um, step right here on line 13. So let's move backwards. All right. Now it's negative 1. You may be thinking, ah, negative 1, ah, why? But if it's at negative 1, it, none of it's done, right? And so maybe you're waiting on the user to do something, or maybe you are waiting on some asynchronous call when the user is placing food, and they're waiting on a 200 coming back or something. And when they get that, it'll update the state to zero you know, for them, and then it'll say, hey, we're making your order here. So yeah, this is like the stupid simple stepper. But before I let you go, Let's actually do one interesting thing here, and I think this actually looks a little bit better. And we could do vertical. And I think that looks nice and much, much, much tighter. Then again, depends on your layout, what you're doing. I do like the fact that material allows you to, you know, do horizontal, vertical, column, uh, columnize things. But yeah, this is the basic stepper in a nutshell. And if you have any you know, questions, uh, leave them below in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe, and I definitely appreciate y'all appreciate viewing.